am Rakesh Chawla, a practicing Vastu consultant and a quantum coach. I am very happy to share the encouraging feedback I have received from of the videos. In continuation, I have been asked to speak about bedroom. So today we shall cover the directions and the decor of bedroom. A bedroom is very very important part of any house. Over the last 30 odd years that I've been seeing houses and I've seen maybe thousands of them, there's one thing that I've noticed. Irrespective of the direction that the bedroom in, is in, what is inside the bedroom really makes a difference. First of all, it should be nice and airy. It should have proper lighting. Natural lighting is the best. Of course, in the evenings you need to have your alternate lighting. There are a lot of people I've seen that, you know, during the day, their houses are not well lit. They pull the curtains and they have very low light inside the house. And at night, when the artificial light is on, that's the time when the house becomes very nice and bright. I'm repeating, during the day, the curtains are drawn and there is very little light inside the room, especially the bedroom. And in the evenings or at night, when artificial light comes on, then the house is very well lit. What did you make out of this? Such houses are reversing the biorhythm. There is darkness during the day and there is brightness at night. Health will always be at stake and it always is wherever I have seen this phenomenon. So, irrespective of the direction, I am repeating, irrespective of the direction your bedroom is in, make sure there is enough natural light during the day and you have complementary light at night or the alternate light sources which you have, they are there at night. And even at night when you are sitting in the room, it should not be gloomy unless and until you are watching a movie. Now, when I say a movie, of course, that means television. Bedrooms which have no TV have more happiness inside. I repeat, bedrooms that have no television has more happiness. But today, every house, every bedroom, there is a television. When families are small, they normally have one television and that is in the lobby or the family lounge. And as kids grow up, their desires to watch movies or their wants of the movies are very different from what the parents want to watch. So they want a TV in their room. Parents have a separate television, children they have their own television. Such places, the family bonding is there, but a disconnect at times starts connect starts happening especially if not only watching television but if you are not also having the food together so the third thing is what you really need to understand it is not just the direction are you eating your food in your bedroom or you all eat food at the dining table now here again i am repeating it's not the direction in which the bedroom is it is the activity inside the bedroom now, if you are converting your bedroom into a dining area and you're having your meals in your bedroom the sanity of a bedroom gets diluted so please make sure that your meals are on the dining table the viewing of television is minimal or not at all in the bedroom. You watch TV in the family lounge. And yes, those who can afford, they should watch it in the home theater. So that the bedroom becomes and is used just as a bedroom. Now, the direction for a bedroom. Generally, people believe that, you know, the bedroom should be in the southwest. Well, for the master of the house, it is the southwest. But when you have parents also with you, southwest is said to be the zone of Pitra, the zone of your ancestors. So while your parents are with you, I would suggest that they should be assigned the southwest. They should be in the southwest. Even if you are the earning member or the highest earning member of the family, you can choose a direction depending upon the nature of your work. A southwest bedroom helps to bring together the family. It helps in forming relationship and in binding the relationship. Normally, I have seen that people who are doing well, they have no time for binding relationships. They are staying in the southwest. They are so occupied and they're so much wedded to their jobs or their professions that having a bedroom in the southwest, they are not doing justice, neither to themselves nor to other members of the family. Having said that, a bedroom, whether it is in the west or northwest even north or northeast east or southeast even south all directions are good it is not just the location of the bedroom that one is worried about it is the location of the attached bath to that bedroom that is what causes concern for example if you have a bedroom in let's say the north and your toilet happens to come in the northeast that is not acceptable that is something which is very avoidable likewise if you have a bedroom in let's say in the southwest and your 
Toilet, especially the WC, comes in the west of southwest. You can never be happy in such a scenario. So I repeat, and please understand and listen carefully. It is not just the direction of the bedroom that everyone focuses on. More important is the direction of the toilet which is attached to that bedroom and where does the WC in that toilet falls upon, which is the zone in which the toilet is. More often than not, I found that it is the wrong placement of the toilet that takes away the good energies of the bedroom, irrespective of the direction that it is in. And there are so many houses, there are so many houses where the master's bedroom, in spite of being in the southwest, there is no happiness, there is no good health, essentially because the toilet gets placed in a wrong zone on a wrong meridian. So, to sum up, I would say, directions are important. At the same time, the natural flow, the happiness, the light, the eating habits, your TV viewing, all this, they make a big difference. So don't just fall for, or don't just go for the direction the bedroom is in. Go for the whole package, the complete package, where it is not just the direction of the bedroom, but the natural elements and how they are imbibed in the bedroom and how happy are you in your bedroom. And if you've liked the video, and please do like, subscribe, and do share it. Thank you very much.